Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Stephen and this is part 3 of the uh, build up of the Tamiya 112 scale Yamaha XV1000 Mirago. This kit. So, we're into uh, virtually completing the kit now. So, let's have a look, see what we're up to. Okay? Okay, so, um, let's show you what we've done up to yet. Um, on the instructions. And, uh, uh, done the exhaust. As you can see. Very nice. Uh, the one at the back, it comes out of the back cylinder, is, is uh, satin black. See it there, goes into a box underneath. Goes into that box there. And then out into that, that top pipe. Um, I've also started the backrest. Well, yeah, I've also started the backrest. He's the gun. And the stand is on as well. So I've got uh, the front wheel spread and ready to go. Uh, initially I spread that on the rear wheel and yeah Vallejo surface primer gloss black because you always get better spray something black and you always get the metallic colours always look miles better so then it got after that it got sprayed with Tamiya gold leaf and then the edges we're done with X11 chrome silver. There's not to be honest. There's not much painting on the kit. It's more like it's more putting it together and putting the uh, put chrome parts on. But these need painting. Seat that's satin black. It's going to be yeah. When I say satin. Tell me range, it's X18 semi gloss black. Also, what's left of the metal metallic parts like the brake discs, they look a lot better now. I've drove them, they're going to be in XS16 flat aluminium. Okay, on the front forks as well, I'll need to uh, mask these off. Because the bottom half of the fork from there is in flat aluminium as well. Oh yeah. And let's paint the uh, indicator lens is clear orange. So, let's get on with it then. Oh yeah, there's a... Uh, done this part of uh, the engine. It's the electrical box cover. And also started on the uh, fuel tank could do a bit of put on oh, let's put a bit of pussy on that I know but I, pre uh, I spread that with uh, Vallejo white primer anyway it's got that is going to get a coat of the fuel tank is going to get a coat of this tell me a colour CS11 maroon, but <coughs> I need to do this outside. Extremely flammable. Okay, see you shortly. Hi. Okay, so uh, bike's moved on a bit now. I've done parts thirteen. Uh, 
14. So let's have a look at the bike. So uh, that electrical box is now on. Some, some plates there. Year indicator. And all it takes time with all the paints and what have you. Because you're doing each section. Paints in the bits. I think that's the air, air filter, but it doesn't say in the instructions. Some parts there. Go on to the engine. So indicator on that side. So it's moved on. Uh, I can't put on the uh, side panels yet because I sprayed up and waiting to go on paint it, but because I'm spraying them with a TS11 I need some nice weather and it's really rubbish outside and it's June so uh, oh yeah I've also been prepping uh, the front fork section. So there's the wheel, front wheel. They look better. No, this discs look better with it all drilled out, don't they? The instruction says to paint the edges of the disc gold, so that's what I've done. And there's the forks, shiny bit. Painted the caliper black, reflector orange. Uh, with this bit, I just painted black over the top of that and then wiped it off. Looks okay, but there's a bit of black going on there, I'll have to scrape that off. So that's where we're up to, up to yet. Okay, right, so, after we're onwards and upwards, do the Section 14, 15, and 16, and I think we're done after that. And then decals, but oh, there's not many of them. Okay, see you shortly. Hi again. Okay, um, so I've done some more work on the uh, bike. It's now got its seat on, and I've done the front wheel. It's got, and I've Connected it, got the lights to do, uh, all the parts, and now getting ready for clear yellow around the rims, and then put the decals in, and then I think I've only got the, um, the handlebars put on, and the cables and what have you. And this bag, and it's coming, it's now rapidly coming to the end. And to be honest, I don't want to because I've really, really enjoyed building this. Uh, it's gone together really well on the for the most part. Um, I think I might have, oh no. Turn the bike a little bit, steering a bit. I just screwed up a bit tight, but I'd rather it was tight than loose. So let's have a look at the other side. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at the bike. That says Virago at the back. That's cool, isn't it? I like it very much. So I'll zoom in. So the front wheel will look a lot better when 
the red lines are on. But on that, no, I really enjoyed this. It's really good. If you've never made a bike before, get yourself one. It's really enjoyable. Okay, so I'll do a bit more. I'm probably going to come to the end. I still haven't done the uh, painting of the tank yet with this stuff. But the weather is atrocious outside. And I can't spray it inside, don't have a, a spray booth, which I'm planning to, uh, hoping to get sooner or later. Okay, so see you shortly. Okay, so I'm going to spray this uh, fuel tank with some of your TSL and maroon. Stinks, doesn't it? <laughs> Stole it, give me that one. Thank you. Just I'm gonna give it another call. That's far too strong. Never done this before. I've never done it before this. Too thick. Okay, you can stop it. Hi, okay. Um, feel the tank. Looks okay. Looks pretty cool. Made a mess of the Yamaha, I think. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Uh, just got to put some decals on it. And uh, put the... Uh, the bars on. Right, Sunday morning this morning. Alright, so uh, I've shut the blinds. So I've just got to put the underbars on. The cables. The fuel tank on. And the side panels on. And it's complete. I'm like, boy, have I enjoyed this uh, model, making this model. It's beautiful, that. So let's get the uh, the few decals on it, and then glue bits together, and it's done. We'll come back to it in a minute. All right, cheers. Hi again. Okay, so the bike's finished now. Very nice as well, I think. Uh. I can't complain much about the kit. Uh, it is what it is. A kit from the uh, 1980s. It cost me £15. I've enjoyed building it. Uh, the decals were a lot of crap to be fair. I tried putting them up, the uh, pinstriping on the tank and they just broke. Uh, the decal on the Speed up into that broke as well and tore. Uh, I managed to patch that up on that. Oh, and the uh, carburetor is not fitting. Oh, on that, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it looks fabulous. So, um, after this, I shall do a final thoughts video. Uh, 
and see you later. Oh, yeah. If you were a modeler, happy modeling. And stay safe out there. This is Stevie D signing off. Until the next build. Thank you very much. Bye.